Good day, it's Todd with LearnToGrowWealthOnline.com and today we are going to be t discussing how to find a niche idea for your website. Um, now a lot of people discuss competition of niches and I think that's a great point to bring up. Obviously the, the more difficult or more competitive niche that you have, for example health or making money online, those are very broad niches and those are going to be very difficult to break into. And so you do want to you want to be able to define your niche and try to really think of a niche audience. Um, a niche audience should be at least a hundred thousand people online that would have potential would potentially be interested in whatever your niche is about. Now, in order to find a niche, though, um, I think it's equally important that, and you'll learn this in the next upcoming lesson. Um, is that when you do keyword research, you can basically break into any niche. Um, it just depends on how you're doing your keyword research, what you're writing about, the quality of, of the content that you're bringing to the table, and um, how you serve a niche audience. So that being said, I have a couple of ideas of how people can go about finding niche ideas for themselves. Um, I do have a couple posts here that I will uh, that people can look at and go through and, and I think there's some good questions that people need to ask themselves. Um, when we think of niches though, you can think of hobbies, passions, problems, trends, um, solutions to, to problems, things like that. Um, there's, there's about a billion niches out there in life. Um, down below here in this article I have a few questions that I think are good for anybody to ask themselves and that is what are some of your favorite things to do in life, your hobbies, special skills that you possess, um, information that you know that most people don't know of and maybe you don't think it's that special but you might be surprised at how many people are interested in, in a certain set of knowledge that you, that you possess. Um, what experiences you have in life. Sometimes those can be turned into niches. So those are some of the questions that I encourage people to look through and jot down ideas to come up with niche, I, I, niche ideas for websites that you can turn into uh, profitable uh, niche sites. Um, where I go, where I went and when I would look for importation products as well as, I, as where I go to find niche ideas um, are three sites really and you can go to any major retailer but I go to Amazon.com, AliExpress.com I don't encourage you to buy from there especially electronics but uh, it's a lot of counterfeit products but they they have a really nice website that gives you some ideas of what's trending um, and Walmart that does the same thing as well so well, all you need to do is be able to go in and spend a little bit of time into, in some of these sites and look around and find things that interest you and although we are looking at products, I don't want you to base products on what your niche idea is going to be about. Um, you really want to base your niche idea on serving a need to a specific audience. Um, and so sometimes by going through some of these sites, you can see, okay, hey, I'm interested in, um, you know, in, in saving money for people's families or uh, baby clothes or baby safety or... Um, if you have kids, I mean, you can come up with a ton of different ideas for for various segments um, that serve as niche niche audiences or niche populations. So you just got to play around with these type of sites. On AliExpress, I like to go to the best selling and just check out and see what they have. Um, and here they even show how many orders. But let's just give it a second to pull up. At the same time, we'll head over to Amazon here and check out today's deals. Okay, so AliExpress. They have sunglasses, clothing, obviously, um, hair extensions, jewelry, lots of different stuff like that. So you just have to go through and find things that you like. I personally, my, my, uh, my niche ideas are, are somewhat limited and they come and go, but it's more, more important to find things that you're passionate about, that you enjoy, um, learning about and what you also have to realize with niche web and websites you, you're going to be writing a good deal of content about whatever that niche may be and so that being the case you want it to be something that you enjoy either learning about or that you already have a good um, good background in um, you know health is a health is one side but healthy um, 
paleo diets or a review of various diets that could be a niche website idea um, I've seen people make niche ideas and their niche websites out of um, specific jewelry jewelry that uh, doesn't cause allergic reactions or um, jewelry that you can make from home you know those those are all unique individual ideas uh, that you can take a look and look at um, but for for just for your own um, understanding of niche ideas take some time and go through uh, these type of sites and look around and you can see what's selling and again don't base your niche idea off of a product but more off of a need and then the, the last thing I think is to really make sure that that niche you're, you're passionate about that niche or you're vested in that niche in some way whether it be with the amount of knowledge that you have on it or your past experience or whatever that may be um, so you just go through these different products you can see you know electronic gadgets there's there's a huge niche um, microscopes you know uh, that might be another niche video games specific video games for specific systems um, tools so I mean the, the, the list could go on and on but I think as long as you can see the bigger the bigger concept of, um, of how you can find something that you're passionate about and then expand on that through keyword research and keyword research understanding keyword research is quite easy once you've done it a little bit and then it's easy, even easier to write up posts or reviews that get ranked and from there then you can apply affiliate programs and, and start making money off your niche website. So if you have any questions, please feel free to leave comments below on the, the links that I leave for the two niche articles that I've written and have a great day. Thanks.